The Kasensel gold mine in Mwinulunga district has not been in operation for a long time now due to court cases involving license holders such as Kampoka Resources and PCB Mining. In July 2022, President Again Dechlema promised the nation that he will resolve all outstanding issues at Kasensel gold mine and indeed strides have been made towards its partial reopening. This follows negotiations with Kampoka Resources, which has now agreed a $2.6 million compensation so as to surrender its license to government. As a result, Chief Chibuika has since signed minutes of the previous meeting with key stakeholders, a move which will now lead to him signing a consent letter allowing government to begin operations at the mine. It has been our desire that this mine opens. It is for our benefit, for the people's benefit, that the mine is in operation. The people of Akasensele especially, because they, they basically have put their hopes on the mine and they are no longer even carrying out the usual farming activities. So I am very grateful for the President to have actually sent you back here so that we can find a way of concluding these matters once and for all. What's agreed? Today I've come back as a representative of the government and also as your own representative, your son coming from Chukwika, to confirm these minutes of that meeting we had. From after you have assented to these minutes, it gives me authority to present to them that yes, this meeting took place and it was genuine, so that we can deal with the Kampoko issue. The other matter which is still in court, which has not been decided, that will wait a bit, so that the Kampoko issue is completely cleared out of the way. And also it shows that the chiefdom, the leadership, is with the government on this matter because the closure of the mine has taken too long. Senior Chief Ikeleng says the reopening of the mine will bring about economic development in Mwinilunga and surrounding districts and the nation as a whole. Zambia Gold Company subsidiary of ZCCMIH has since set aside the $2.6 million composition meant for Kampoko Resources so as to conclude the negotiations and remain with PCB. Kampoko Resources was the license holder for Pit 2 at Kasensel Gold Mine, while PCB holds the license for Pit 1. Sunnis reports in Munilunga.